My name is Dr. Elizabeth Ann Komen, and I am a breast oncologist at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. One of the common presentations that we see with metastatic breast cancer, particularly is hormone receptor positive breast cancer that might come back in the bone that's incidentally found. For a variety of reasons, particularly hormone receptor positive breast cancer likes to live in the bone. First line of attack for that, particularly if a woman is feeling well, is to use hormone therapies. Sometimes these medications can be in, in conjunction with other medicines that may enhance the ability of the hormone medications to work. At some point, however, a woman's disease may progress, may get worse in such a fashion that she is no longer responsive to hormone manipulations that are standardly available. In that instance, we think about what clinical trials may be available. Are there newer hormone agents that we could try that might reverse that um, resistance that the woman may have acquired? Is it potentially helpful to re-biopsy a new site of metastasis? For example, if a woman has hormone receptor positive metastatic breast cancer that has been in the bones for decades and she's been doing well, and all of a sudden she has a big liver mass that's spread from the breast, but it keeps growing at a very rapid pace, we might re-biopsy that to say, is there something different about what's spread to the liver that's allowed it to grow there? And in some instances, the next line of therapy outside of a clinical trial may be several chemotherapy options. The good news is after hormonal therapy, there really are a lot of different chemotherapies that are available to women who have hormone receptor positive breast cancer that have progressed on hormonal medications.